hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel my name is maureen and this is a get to know me video so without wasting much time i'm not going to do the whole intro or what what let's just get into the questions i got these questions from my tiktok account my tiktok account you can search for maureen Yurenda or penjani uh, underscore s underscore princess and you will find the account so let's get into the questions okay so jumping straight into the questions the first question is from at scarlet 98 so these are from tiktok hey eh? these are from tiktok and she asked when did you graduate at unza i think you were my hostel mate at some point at inter one so my graduation was 2020 but the final year was 2019 as you know that kind of stuff so yeah i graduated in 2019 that's when i finished but i did not stay at the ruins at at any point during my stay i was a new res girl so i stayed at zambezi at uh, um, soweto i stayed at October and also at the Monosa hostels. The Monosa hostels were trash. Trash. But let's not go into that. So, next question. My favorite TV show or movie or favorite food? Okay, so favorite TV show. Hmm. Which one did I like the most? Um, I would say Superstore. Yeah, on Netflix, Superstore. I really loved that one, though the character started like irritating me, but I really enjoyed it. And I also enjoyed Good Girls where there's real. If you know, you know. And then um favorite movie. I don't think I have a favorite movie. Like it just I just like a lot of movies. I don't have like a favorite favorite movie. And my favorite food at the moment has to be fish. I really, really enjoy fish. I also enjoy pork. I don't really like chicken that much because I think na navidia maning, like navidia maning. So I don't really enjoy chicken that much anymore. So my favorite food at the moment is fish and pork. All right, moving on. I had received a phone call and so I had to like cut. So, all right. And then the next question, I'll be saying next question a lot. Forgive me is from muka banda and she asked at what age did you get married so technically technically on technicality on technicality i got married when i was 24 but then about two months later i turned 25 so we can just say 25 i think i think we can just say 25 i got married at 25 and or two months before two to three months before my 25th birthday that's when i got married right and then louis louis i think it's pronounced as louis uh as where did you go to school let me give you a big a, a, a background a little background about my school <laughs> okay so um i started school at some kind of private school but it was a really good school they taught us a lot of like good english and then i went to Thelma trust school in kablonga those that say in kablonga Mtendere area you know that school i hated that school let me tell you just wish stupid but anyways i don't know if it's better now but i hated it because of the the people that were there not because of the school itself because of the pupils that were there then I moved to TJ Kankasa, which was called Galilee at that at that point. It's uh, the school for the freedom fighter. Um, what's her name? Chibesa Kankasa. And then from there, I now went to government school. That's where life became different. I went to a government school. I had to cut my hair because I had permed hair. I had to cut my hair. I was looking like a boy. I went to Jacaranda, Jacaranda basic for grade eight and grade nine. It was okay. The toilets were, ugh, guys, it's, it's actually amazing how I did not get any like infections around, around that time because I used to hold in my pee. I used to hold in my pee. Like I would go to school at six and knock off at like 1330, I think 1250. And I wouldn't pee until I get home. 
I would not be, and I'll be drinking juice and water and all of that stuff. I'll be feeling like pink, but I'll just be like, no, you cannot go in that toilet. It was trash. Oh, people were dirty. Then I went to Lusaka High School. After Jacaranda, I went to Lusaka High School. And that's where I did grade 10 to grade 12. After that, I went to Unza. And now I am a lover. Well, not really a lover. I don't like to call it a lover, but I'm in transition. I'm in a transitional period. So that's that about my school. Okay, and then Patience Simwamba asks, how did you manage to have a wedding? Otherwise, Nayo and Dakuno with pressure. Okay, so I think this part of the video will probably be at the end because it's going to be a lot. Let me even put my phone down. So, how did I manage? Firstly, those saving, we saved for a bit. And I, I have not, I, I was working and stuff like that. And, but my husband had been working for a longer time. So he had basically more money than me. And um, we both made a decision like we are not having a reception. We're not having a reception. We're not having a kitchen party. We're only going to have a chilangam lilo and a marriage blessing. That's all. That is it. I don't. I don't remember how much our wedding cost us, but it definitely wasn't as much as it was going to be if we had a reception. Uh, so we only had a marriage blessing, and we didn't like allow people to really force us into doing things. We mostly just stood our ground and we put up a united front and um we chose to have a very small gathering as well so there was covid uh but at that time the restrictions were pretty much non-existent anymore when it came to like my functions but we still decided to only have a hundred people at our wedding which was close family and friends only so my advice is no patumba pemiendera Know what you can afford and what you can't afford and stick to it. Also, also it's converted and was a combat. Tizai kapo, tizai kapo. Only until you've seen the money. Only until you've seen the money. That is when you can take their word for it. Don't no, okay, can't change the reception. Tiza panga reception. Tizai kandara maza reception. You will find yourselves being the ones now congolading. Congolading looking for money. So the advice I would give since you are having pressure, stand your ground with the decisions that you make. People are going to talk whether you like it or not. They are going to say things whether you like it or not. So it is up to you to stand your ground. Be on the same page with your fiancé. Not to moza kamba ichi, then I ndakula family wake akamba va different. Ah, we kairi, no bandandan wa kamba so, no bandandan wa kamba so. Know where you are moving at. That's one thing that I've realized that a lot of people um, find themselves with pressure. It's, it's a money thing. So do what you can afford. Do what you can afford. It's that simple. Let it be small. Let it be big. As long as it's a big pan. That's what I can say. So then now, Munyaratsi um, Munyimani. Uh, is asking what did you study and do you work from home or what i studied political science with public administration at the university of zambia and i i am a lot of things so i can't really box it i can't really box what i do so yeah i've always said i am a home manager a house manager I like to make it fancy, but yeah, that's that's what I am going to just answer it as. Then Loi again is asking, so she asked quite a number of questions. So how was it getting married? How was it? It was fun. Um, I didn't have as much pressure because I was very straightforward and very direct with what I wanted and how it was going to go. And my partner was very supportive and we were both communicating the same thing to our families. So being married, how was it getting married? It was very much fun. I enjoyed the process. Would I do it again? Certain parts of it, <laughs> certain parts of it. There were parts that I dreaded. I hated it but there were other parts that i really liked then the other question is 
how did you get your tiktok name so my father's name middle name is penjani so some people say penjani is princess but what what it actually is supposed to be is penjani's princess like penjani's like yeah but tiktok wouldn't allow me to use the kama thing between the i and the s to make it penjani's princess so i just used it like that and that's how it came about um how old am i i'm currently 25 i'm about to turn 26 in this is july august september october in about four months november four months in four months i'll be turning um 26 where do you work a lot of people ask me where do you work and also user number shan, 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 ask me where do i work i work at home i work at home i make sure the house is running i make sure the bills are paid i make sure we're not running behind on anything there's all of that stuff i am the one that manages all of that i need you to do what are your talents i would say singing i do sing quite a bit i've been slacking but i do sing and um i would say talking i don't know if it counts but i am a speaker so a public speaker um i just haven't really gotten into it into it but that's one of the talents that i have um every other thing i can't really dance like that i mean i can move my body but i can't dance <laughs> and then she also asks um how is the married life going for you so far so good we thank the lord for his grace and for just you know helping us and guiding us through the obstacles that we we come across um so being married has been fun it's been like we're just dating but we stay together um not really much has changed what has mostly changed is that we stay together and we're now like yeah but uh the way we relate has not changed from the way we were when we were dating we we are we're like yeah <laughs> that's how i can describe it how it's been it's um it's been very good i am quite um glad and i have a lot of gratitude for how it's been so far and i pray all the time that we may continue on this path of being obsessed with each other and having fun with each other um, so annie again asks when did you start doing tiktoks so tiktok i joined a while back then i deleted it then i rejoined but then i wasn't really making stuff then i think i started making tiktoks maybe like end of last year end of 2021 or is or maybe january um yeah i think that's when i like got serious with making tiktoks and i was trying to find my feet and all of that stuff i've made a couple of mistakes here and there but it's been it's just been a couple of months since i've been like an active intentional content creator i i was very lazy and very you know slackish so even my youtube i said i did last year but i stopped because I, was, I got lazy but now i'm trying to get back into it because i have a lot of time and i'm mostly at home so why not create content um so this channel is just really going to be me sharing my thoughts doing some research giving product reviews so like for the menstrual cup the review the detailed review is going to be on this youtube channel um i may post a short one on on tiktok as well because of the time restriction but uh the main main review is going to be on this channel i'm going to be reviewing so many different things i'm so excited and for everyone who has already followed me when i only have three videos thank you so much you guys are the ogs everyone that came from tiktok thank you so much you took the time to click on the link and to search for me and all of that stuff thank you so much i'll be doing some giveaways as well there's going to be a lot of things happening and i'm super excited for this um stage in my life that uh we've started so i think that's pretty much it i don't know if there are other questions that i haven't uh answered but i'm sure from tiktok i've answered pretty much every question 
um we we'll also have a get to know us with my husband when he has some time to spare where we can make a video so whatever you'd want to know about us leave it in the description oh, not the description sorry leave it in the comment section down below um don't forget to subscribe as well so yeah all those to my tiktoks that i make i'll make detailed ones so even the cooking videos there'll be a more detailed recipe a more detailed outlook on my thoughts and my research my discoveries all of that stuff this place is going to be a place of positivity not negativity i'm just going to be you know someone described me as that sister that they that they wished they had and i don't take that lightly because there are some things that we are not told and we just get to discover them through bad ways so i'm trying to be that person that gives you proper stuff so i think okay yeah the, i'm receiving some product for review ah um, we, uh, I think they have, they have reached event. So that's pretty much. Remember to give it a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe. It will take you literally two seconds to do it. Thank you so much from me to you. It's all love.